everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. you. And we're finally so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're so glad that you're here, and we uh, just pray that you guys are blessed by what the Lord has to share tonight. You'll kind of yes. understand, I think, as we share, just how why the video is at this time because I, I really feel like ultimately it's like you'll get to see more of like a complete it's the perfect release date it's, it's like the the fullness of what god's been doing god's over like, i'm not late the last <laughs> week and a little extra we keep having these overflow times but Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we do we are having overflow <laughs> times for real um and so um but yeah so we're going to be doing act three scene eight today and which um, spans basically it's going to span all of last week kind of into a little bit of this week but kind of a little bit of the week before and you'll see what i'm talking pentecost, about pentecost that pentecost yeah. time you know so, that, leading up to Pentecost time. Yeah. A little bit after Pentecost time. So. So. <laughs> anyway, um, but before we begin, we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who continues to give to us. Glory and, to God. Um, help support. Glory to God. What the Lord Someone is out there doing. just say glory to God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so huge thank you to all of you. Um, truly, it's amazing. Um, mm. Just, we're always every every week every day it's just like wow god you are so good and yeah. um we appreciate all of you who give we know that um it's a big it just deal. comes from a place like we know yeah. that you work hard for what you have um and it's just it really is very humbling yeah. um to receive what you give so yeah. um huge thank you to all of you may um, you be blessed yes <laughs> um Yes, and you can just overflow. Be blessed double. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And um Come on, also girl. huge thank you to everyone who does pray for us. Um yeah. we just appreciate all of that and just even send words of encouragement um through the email or just making comments. So we appreciate all of you as well. Yeah. And um I feel like I was gonna say something and I totally forgot what it was. But that's okay. Well, I have something. <laughs> you know, we don't get to go to our post office box that much. That's right. But someone sent us something. And I don't remember who I sent our post <laughs> our P.O. box address to, but we got this package from Amazon and it had a for for the kids. You know, it has a, those little paddle ball thingies uh -huh. in it. And the, what is the it? The paper airplane. Yeah, how to make a paper airplane. And I was like, whoa, so it's awesome. amazing. But it didn't have a name on it. And I was like, I know who this is, but I don't remember who this is. <laughs> so, huge thank you to you. Yes. You know who you are. Huge yeah. thank you. The kids loved it. They, they um, loved it. To be yeah. honest, the paddle balls are already broken. Well, one, yeah, one is. <laughs> They're already busted up. Just, I was like, well, that's gotten used pretty yeah, thoroughly. Yeah. It's my turn. No, it's my turn. <laughs> no, that didn't really no, happen. It didn't but. No, they were just playing with it and it just popped off. But um, we all know how. But it was like super you know. cool. And so yeah. if if you know who you are, you should just email me again and be like, Devin, it's me. Hello. And I'll be like, oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yes, and, um, so huge thank you else? there. No, that's it, I think. I just want to say, um, if you would like to give to us, you can. Uh, we have a PayPal link below and a Cash App link below, and you can click either of those. And I don't normally like to call people out, but whoever Hair Goals is, man, you deserve, like, a bunch of hugs <laughs> because I don't know cash app is difficult for me personally because all you you're limited to like emojis and hearts and high fives and stuff like that but it's like sometimes I want to say something personal yeah you know what I'm saying and so if anybody wants to email us we have our email address on our page um, on the front part of the you know if you go to the about section in the YouTube it's like the emails like right there and it should work Devin Lavore books at gmail.com there you go 
Mm -hmm. You can just email me right there. But if you uh, want to email us, because I would love to have hair gold. I'd love to. I'd love to have your email, or you just email us, or something, so we could like. Yeah. I could just be like, "Oh my gosh, you're amazing!" Blah 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 blah. Come on, you know me. If you watch us, <laughs> you know I got stuff to say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, so um, huge thank you, just yeah. to all our Cash App people who I don't get to say anything to. Yeah. You know, I give a high five or a heart or something, and I mean every one. That that love goes into pushing that heart mm -hmm. and that high five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so true. So I think that's it, yeah? Yeah. So we're just That's it for announcements. All yeah. right, it's time for worship. <laughs> Lord, we just come to you right now in the name of Jesus. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Get out your guitar. Have some church. Church <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but So, um, yeah, so I guess... You can, so this is gonna be a story. This is gonna be you guys a story. You guys ready for some story time? You need to pause the video right here. You see that? You see the timestamp? <laughs> you know? You need to uh, go get yourself some popcorn, some Coca Cola, or something. You know, some fruit punch, some juice, or something. You know? Because <laughs> we got a story to tell here. Yeah. But because it's it's got different flavors to it, it's got rises and falls to it. It's mm -hmm. just very interesting, like what the Lord's been doing. Um, was it this past week that I got that uh, hearing the the stadium? Was that in week? Yes, scene that's, eight. That's that's right. Okay, you got that. Okay, so you can so. just interject with any kind of time frame yeah. stuff because. Oh, you mean like hearing the roar? Yeah, and posting no, that on the Facebook. No, no, that was last week. That was previous. Yeah, so you heard the roar, but then. Um, but then, then we started running the, the lap. The one lap, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so this is going to be about that one lap. Okay. But so we're going to start this video, this part of the story with. Uh, the prophetic dream that I got that was like super, super amazing. Man, God's been giving me dreams like a lot in this particular week, in this particular scene. I haven't really gotten one uh, in a couple couple days. Is that true? I haven't really got one in a couple days. Watch mm -hmm. me get one tonight. Anyway, <laughs> the Lord's like, oh yeah, watch this. No, just but it starts off with... Um, well, let me just say, oh, this oh, dream it set up. happened on uh, May 27th. So that was Friday, May 27th. Um, you shared the dream and it you had that dream that morning. Was that in scene eight? No, that would have actually been in scene seven, the end of scene seven. But it was coming into That's scene eight. That's true. This is why it's kind of... Because I wanted to share it. That's right. I wanted to share it on that video. But I was like, I just felt like the Lord was like, nah, don't do it right now. Wait, wait a minute. I guess it's been a minute. <laughs> so, man, it's been a minute. How y'all doing? Anyway, <laughs> but I had this dream. And in the dream, I was in kind of like a uh, an inner city school with my substitute teacher, Mr. Garvey. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I, was, I could tell I was in this inner city school. Uh, I was in high school. And I was I was in the hallway and I was waiting at this I was actually walking down the hallway and I don't know how much detail I should get into, but I just remember it the vibe was like, man, this is so like it was so ghetto for lack of a better word, but it was kind of a little, little bit above that. Um it wasn't completely run down. There wasn't like a bunch of gang violence or anything like that. But it was just like, you can just tell it was like, it was not the land of opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was not a place where you're just going to survive this high school experience and then go on to something else if you're lucky. You know what I mean? And there was this one girl, she was walking down the uh, hallway and it was weird because she was singing and she was just trying to practice her talent and everything and then she had like these two like Siamese twin sisters coming out of her side and they had like three heads that were just singing they were like triplets or something and I was just like wow and I was like it was sad because I was looking at her and I, or looking at them technically it was like three people coming out of one body it was weird and I was like I was I felt sorry for her because I know like probably in this high school setting you probably do sound good but if you go on American Idol they're gonna laugh at you 
You know, that's what mm-hmm. I was thinking. In my, and I was just like, oh my gosh. But the problem I had is she thought she was really good. And I was like, ah, whatever. But that was just, it was just, it's kind of like a picture of like, that's kind of like what the school was about. It was, it was like, I don't know. It was like a, s- a school for people who want to be something, but they're all pursuing the wrong talents and wrong stuff and wrong. And it was just like, it was, it was very frustrating. And so I just saw her and she was just in her own world. And then I just was like, okay, whatever. And I went over to the elevator and I was standing at the elevator waiting for the elevator. And then next to the elevator was this door, that w- but it was kind of like deep in. Uh, so you can't really see it, but you know the door was there. And then out of this this door comes this lady. She comes, you know, kind of like she's on a mission, right? And she's just coming out. And you can tell she was kind of young, maybe like in her 30s. Um, and she had on a dress. <laughs> um, but she did not realize that the back part of her dress was exposed like it was like tucked up above her waist so she was kind of revealing some things you know hello pg-13 alert but and it was just like but i knew but more than that more than that uh, graphic stuff i just knew that she was driven like a she was she was a predator she was on the hunt Mm-hmm. And I really felt like she was actually looking for me, but she was going so fast she didn't even see that I was like literally right there standing by the the um, the elevator door and she took off down the hall that I had just come from. And I was just like, whoa. I mean, it was really kind of revealing and I was just like, dude. And I could tell she was just on the hunt. And I was like, oh my gosh. And that right at that moment of all of this happening, the door to the elevator opened up and I launched on. And I was like, oh, praise the Lord, get me on there. And then the elevator closed, but then as, I'm, as the elevator's closing, I'm realizing, oh no, I'm on the wrong elevator. This isn't the right elevator. I think this is the custodian's elevator because it was this really little tiny service elevator that had like, I mean, the whole thing looked like I was in a custodian's closet that was actually an elevator. Mm-hmm. I mean, it had like little rags in the in the corner and the, the wood flooring was, it was a wood flooring on the, uh, but it was almost like a couple pieces of plywood or something that were just kind of stacked on top of each other, not even neatly. You know what I mean? And then I was just like, there was like a, a mop hanging up on the corner and, and I was just like, oh man. I messed up and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to wait. And then as I'm looking, I realize there's no buttons to like for, to press a floor. It's just, and it's the elevator's just going, but I can't tell if it's going up or down. Hmm. Man, that just hit me right there. I could not tell if the elevator was going up or down. And I was just like, oh my gosh, now I'm stuck on this thing and I have no idea. And you know how dreams, they tend to just kind of go from one thing to another Mm -hmm. and it's very fast paced. But in this dream, I literally felt a sense of like, wow, this is taking forever. Where am I going here? Mm -hmm. This is taking forever. Where am I going? Hello. (laughs) And then I just was like, what in the world? And so I looked up. And I was looking at the uh, the the floor counter because it was it was set against a black backdrop with the you know the red little digital mm-hmm. numbers, and it said the number twenty eight. And I was like, oh wow, okay, number twenty eight. And right then I knew, oh, that's the leading of the spirit. That's mm-hmm. the number for the leading of the spirit. And right then the door opens up, and I'm like, oh, praise the Lord, get me out of here. And um, and I realized that I was actually go- I had gone up. When I stepped out, I realized, oh man, I'm like way up high. I am like way up high. I didn't realize I was this far up. And I was kind of on an, in an outside, you know how you have those uh, parking garages? Mm-hmm. They're outside, but you're like, you're inside the parking garage. I don't yeah. know, mm-hmm. you know, if you, but anyway, and so, I realized though, but I, w- I was in this parking garage mm-hmm. and there was like no cars anywhere. You know, you could tell there was a little bit of, you know, hustle and bustle here and there, but I couldn't see where it was. I could just sense and know that it was there. You know, kind of like if you go outside, you can, you know, if you open up your window, you can hear there's cars going by out there and everything, mm-hmm. but you can't see them. Yeah. And so 
And I was like, I was like, why did this let me off here? This is crazy. I'm like in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm in I'm in this concrete gray space. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, what's going on? And then I looked over the uh, the railing and I could tell and I could see the custodian. He was a couple floors down and he was looking for me. And I could tell he had just come up the stairs and he was looking for me frantically. I mean, he was just like, he was mad and, 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 and I mean, rabid, I guess would be the word, you know? He was just looking for me and I was just like, whoa. I knew, I was like, oh man, I'm in trouble. I knew I shouldn't have taken that elevator. I knew it, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm just gonna run up the stairs. And so I just ran up the stairs. I ran up one part of the stair and then the other, like, that would be a flight of stairs, right? Yeah. I ran up one flight of stairs and I saw a door and I was like, oh, and I just went through this door, okay? And oh my word, it was like night and day difference. I went through this door and suddenly I find myself in this huge hallway, carpeted hallway. Uh, and these, there's lockers in front of me and stuff going on to the left and the right. But you could tell it was like, it was extremely wealthy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was like, is this a, is this a high school? <laughs> <laughs> what what is going on here but i knew it was a high school and i was like whoa and as soon as i get through the door this girl comes to meet me and she she reminds me of brainy smurf you know what i'm saying <laughs> where she brainy smurf is just like meh, 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 you know and she just comes to me and she starts talking to me and she starts chit-chatting to me and saying all this stuff to me but it was almost like she it felt like she was kind of like the rejected girl that no one listened to and she just saw me she was like oh, there's somebody who might listen to me hey did you know <laughs> and i'm just like i am like i am amazed i am in awe i can feel the presence of this place is like amazement and wonder and just whoa where am i there were girls in a group on the floor just kind of like you know like like they're doing their homework or something and i'm just and i but i i come through the door and i'm still racing like i'm running from the cost custodian i'm not running but i'm walking real fast with a purpose but i'm like also kind of floored by like wow what is this place where am i what is, what is going on here and then there's other boys they're off in the corner and they're doing some sort of like trio crooning type of thing you know and i'm just like whoa this is amazing and i mean the linoleum parts of the floor are like sparkling shining brilliant you know and i'm just like where am I? And there's just sun coming through the, what do they call them, the, the, the skylights? Mm -hmm. That are, I'm just like, this is, this place is amazing. <laughs> and so, and so I'm just walking, because I walk through and then I have to take a left and that's like the main part of it. And it's, and it's huge. It is huge. You have to understand where I just came from. The it was so compact. It's like the difference between a uh, a maze floor pan, floor pan, <laughs> a maze floor plan house where everything just feels like little boxes and squares connected by these hallways, and it's just like ick, you know. And that's what it felt like down there mm -hmm. in the. Uh, a, you know, and Mr. Garvey's level, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was just like, it was so tight that even the hallways were super, super tight yeah. and everything. The elevator I came up in, it was super tight. And it was just like, oh, you just felt claustrophobic. Here, it was the exact opposite. You just felt like it, there was just space everywhere. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And so I'm walking and this girl is still with me, chit-chatting and talking. I'm, I'm hearing her, but I'm ignoring her. And, it, and she had almost like a spirit of discouragement about her she had this spirit of discouragement that was trying to just it was almost like she was trying to warn me of all the bad things that were happening I didn't ask her for nothing she just started going at me and I'm just like I'm so I'm I'm listening to her but I'm just like I'm so overwhelmed I'm just like kind of ignoring her you know mm -hmm. and then I get to this place I'm going down the hall. And I'm just like, this is amazing. And I get to this place where I see uh, Sean Astin. He played uh, Sam Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings. He played Rudy in the movie Rudy a long time ago. 
some people out there are probably saying, what you mean a long time ago? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Other people out there going, who's Rudy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. But I see him and he's sitting at this table and uh, I kind of forget this part of the dream, actually. But I just know he was sitting at the table, and there was a bunch of other guys there. It was cool. There were these, there were these like teenage boys that were there, and you can tell they were like the nerd club. I was like, those are my people. I need to be at that table, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and Sam Aston or Sean Aston, Sean Aston. I'm gonna call him S Samwise Gamgee Aston. But anyway. <laughs> But he's sitting at the table, and he's talking while these boys are sitting around doing their thing. And um, I forget what happened. Well, I think, like, he was he said something, and it made you laugh. Yes, that's what it was. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, he said something, and it just made me laugh. And I just couldn't help myself but crack up. And, I, and I'm kind of at a distance. I'm probably like 50 feet away from him. But I'm just cracking up. And then the other guys at the table, they started cracking up too. But they weren't supposed to. And it was in that moment that I realized, oh my gosh, there were her. It was like they were filming a TV episode of some sort mm -hmm. right then. And my laugh was causing the other ones to break character. Because mm -hmm. they thought it was really funny too. But then, you know, Sean Aston, he's like a pro. And he doesn't break character at all. And he's just yeah. like talking to this other person. <laughs> And, and I'm just like I'm just cracking up so much and I was just like and I, I looked to the girl because I remember oh before we got to the table that's what it was before we got to that table scene I was like I was talking to the girl I was like I was like what is this place where where am I right now you know mm -hmm. and I don't even remember what she said and then I saw that table scene and I was just like I need to be going here. Mm -hmm. This is the school I need to be going to. And I think it kind of ended yeah, there, it kinda right? Ended there, yeah. And I was like, this is where I belong. This is this is my place, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. And it, so you can take over from there, you know? All right. Well, so Devin got this dream on Friday the 27th. And um, and so we kind of... You can see why I couldn't share it in the last video. Yeah. So. <laughs> it would have been extra long. Yeah. But, um, but then basically, um, you know, so we kind of just... You shared it like you just did. Um, but it then the next cool. day was May 28th. And the 28th was just really standing out to us. And like, it was just like, whoa. <sighs> You know, here the Lord had highlighted 28th, the 28th floor, and, like, getting off. Mm -hmm. And it was almost like, okay, like, Lord, what are, what are you speaking here? And I really feel like that's what happened. We, the May 28th came. It was like, hey, here's the 28th floor. You're going to, the doors are going to open, and you're going to go in. Spiritually speaking, you're going to enter into this other time where now you're going to be going up these flight of stairs and yeah because if you go up the flight of stairs what level is that that's 29 mm -hmm. which is the number for either mountains are associated with the number 29 but we all, the lord always uses it for departure yeah that means you're going to something totally different yeah you know and so it was interesting so we got that and then on monday the uh, 30th of may you started getting this like one last lap mm. and you had this coliseum vision of us coming into the coliseum where you just have that one last lap to and that's run where everyone's around. going yeah and, you yeah. guys made it this is amazing ah! yeah you know? and we were like whoa yeah, like, let's, <laughs> let's just do it. keep going let's keep going <laughs> and and so really um that's kind of what this last week was it was yeah. that going up the flight of stairs um it, you mm -hmm. can compare it to running around that last lap after you've already run, run a marathon or an ultra marathon an ultra, and you're just running you're like, <laughs> you've just been going. like listen guys i love it appreciate all the encouragement but i still got some steps to put one in front of the other yeah. you know we, we still gotta literally finish this thing yeah you know and so there was just this sense of like just keep just keep going, you know. Just and keep swimming. <laughs> Just keep swimming. <laughs> yeah. And and so, like, 
throughout the week, it was just like, all right, God, you know, he's always speaking to us. But um, as far as just like encouragement, let's just keep going and, and what he was speaking. But I thought it was interesting because on the 31st of May, there was a sense of finishing. And it made me think about, you know, when you, mm-hmm. you know, you're talking about a flight of stairs, like you go really up one that, and then too. you can come mm-hmm. like this way, you know, there's like that the little middle platform part. and then yeah. you go up again. Yeah. And it was almost as if it was like, okay, you had this finishing where you finished that first part mm-hmm. and then now you're going up the second part. And yeah. and really June first came and there was a shifting. Mm-hmm. Um and and God started speaking in some different areas, but he really spoke a lot to um again for us just like he was speaking into um road trips uh, for us. Um, He was speaking Mm -hmm. over our family tree. Mm -hmm. He was speaking um, just even more into... Like our uh, identity and purpose. Yeah, our identity and purpose. That was huge Huge. this last week. Huge. Um, Talking about identity. Literally, we started off... Literally started off the week talking about just who we are in in God and and our identity. But it just kind of... The theme went throughout the whole week. Um, And... And then he started talking about, I'm kind of looking over here because I have things that are up on the wall. <laughs> we're, we're literally like surrounded we by are. the prophetic word of the Lord <laughs> yeah. um, through pictures. <laughs> so, um, but God was also speaking again to like, hey, this is where we've been, but this is where we're going. And, and I mm. want you to <clears throat> see where you've been, but I want you to see also where you're going and where I'm taking you um, forward. And also for us um this last week we didn't even know i I think it's so funny because um on june 1st it was like blind man (laughs) it was like running we just we started talking about donuts and like we're like let's get some donuts and we tried actually on june 1st to get donuts but yeah but um it came out of nowhere yeah um and and it was like we, we just couldn't get them that day. And so then you got some the next morning. Mm-hmm. And and the kids all had these donuts. And for us, donuts, it talks about being a taste of home for us. Mm-hmm. And we haven't gotten... Because these were like the special donuts, you know. Um, we haven't gotten those. The last time was back in like January of 2021. Yeah, so like so, well over a year. Yeah. We had and, this taste um, of home thing that the Lord was doing. And yeah. um and so they got these like specialty donuts and I was just like, "Okay, that's that's cool. Awesome." And then I I was <laughs> online and it was like hey national donut day is on the third and i was like what the next day <laughs> I didn't even, we didn't even know and so yeah. it was just so funny but um yeah. but it was just kind of the lord was again speaking to you know the house and hey i'm giving you a home is sweet um mm-hmm. and and just like what god has for us is going to be sweet you're going to taste and see that the yeah. lord is good and um can I have another bite please yeah exactly <laughs> and uh and your head is going to swim for real <laughs> yeah let's not talk about that uh, kind of Sometimes a reaction sugar is too much yeah. uh, but anyway um i should have got the paleo ones anyway. <laughs> but it was just kind of like wow here's this you know donut thing came up and yeah literally like i said haven't had that in forever yeah. um but and the reason why we consider it a taste of home is because um if anybody doesn't know like the reason the national donut day was established was because it was commemorating um some of the women who uh, with the salvation army would go overseas and make donuts for soldiers um that were serving and it would give them a taste of home um reminder and a reminder of what they're fighting for boost the Um, morale you know (laughs) yeah and so it's sometimes like it's almost like god's like here i'm giving you a taste of home because i want to uh you know just kind of boost your own morale and Mm -hmm. and just like help you get through you know and we were seeing prophetic numbers 
or a particular number in relation to our home like crazy. Yeah. I mean crazy. You know, they all go to bed at a certain time and after that time I must have seen that number like what, six times? And I was just like, wow. Because yeah. it's associated with the house that we really feel like the Lord's saying believe for this. And so I'm just like, wow, it's just been, it's been kind of our week. And our week's kind of been, no, well, no, you keep going because I'm going to step yeah. on probably what you're going to say. <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> and, and then the Lord was also just talking about healing and mm-hmm. um, just kind of what he wants, what he's going to be doing. And, um, yeah. And so it was really interesting, and I've, I do... Healing and the revealing. Um, one of the things that I do find significant as well is the fact that, um, for me, sometimes, um, the Lord, He does give me direction as far as to draw things or um, create what He's speaking about. Um, and so, like, um, on our wall, we have, like pictures and and the kids actually drew some of theirs but I drew some of them too well I actually drew most of them but um (laughs) but um you know we've got ourselves lined up on the wall that was from March um and then on there's just we just have like little pictures and representations Mm -hmm. um you know actually on every wall basically uh, yeah basically on every wall um and uh actually back when we did the syllabus which was last year um about this time like the lord had me do a picture for that um so that we can be reminded of what he has spoken and um and this week in particular i was just kind of looking around and the lord had me um do like a family tree picture Mm -hmm. um and then i had some other pictures that the lord uh had me put up put up my heart to do and mm-hmm. so I put them up on the wall and I was just kind of looking around and I'm going Lord I feel like we're decorating all of these walls it feels like we're we're prepared for this like party. like a party or something right kind of like what we would do if we were celebrating the kids parties yeah we would really decorate it up you know exactly and so it was just kind of like okay and then um I forget exactly what which night that was but um this might it kind of jumps ahead a little bit but um but basically there was a night where um there's one part on the wall over here that's it's like i don't even know what you call that part it's not really a wall but it's like it comes down lower so you kind of have like a almost like a beam kind of thing yeah. <laughs> and when we've decorated in the past for birthdays we'll always put the happy birthday banner on there mm-hmm. and it was just a sense of like we have a banner like that that god like we had all these other walls like with all this stuff <clears throat> and it's like we're just missing the banner and um for one of our god times um you um basically we're just like oh I know what the banner is because we were asking the Lord like what is the banner that you have like well that was a really amazing night because the Lord was speaking to us prophetically about banners and carrying banners it was Mm -hmm. like wow I don't know if we'll ever share that but it was really amazing yeah (laughs) but it ended up being the Lord was like I want you to put the banner put the word faith and Mm -hmm. so that's what um, I ended up doing but it was like when that was finished Mm -hmm. it was this sense of we're finished like everything's done there's a sense of finishing there yeah yeah and and I think I actually finished did finished the sign on Sunday Mm -hmm. Um, but prior to that on Saturday night um you were feeling basically you had gone to the store and you came back and I came back at 5:59 yeah came in the door 5:59 and just unloading stuff just like here here's some what was I did I go to Walmart or something like yeah. that yeah yeah <clears throat> 5:59 and then we got pretty much went into god time right after that I was like whoa I am definitely feeling like a shift a transition yeah you were like 
Like something's very different right now. Yeah. Like we are not huffing and puffing up the stairs. <laughs> it's like some we we must have got to the landing and we're standing in front of the the door of that dream mm -hmm. that I talked about at the beginning of the video. And we're about to go through the door or something because this is it felt light. Mm -hmm. It felt different and it was just like oh okay I gotta write something down. Yeah, <laughs> but but there was this this shift in the spirit, and I told him I was like, well, that's really crazy because basically at six p.m. that's um, when Pentecost starts, and so it was just I like, had no idea, you know, because it, it basically was Sunday night at six, then you go all the way like the full day was um, Sunday. And um, it was just like, whoa, okay, like, Lord, what, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? Um, and so there was this shift. And then basically on Sunday, Pentecost, we ended up, um, I forget what we shared in the morning, but I think it was just, again, more of the Lord just speaking to our family. But then mm -hmm. Sunday night, it was just like, it is a worship night. And we oh, ended yeah. up just, I mean, it was over an hour of just like worship doing the worship music it was like 16 and just, songs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and 16 is the number of love yep and so we just we just that's what we did that night it was just a whole night of worship and then it was the monday morning then the lord was telling you hey you when you went uh Pentecost was the door. the door and it's like you have crossed the finish line mm -hmm. and it was like we were running that lap and now the Lord's like okay you have crossed the finish line and um, you've reached the top and you've gone through the door yeah and now you've entered into this new place and you're gonna start looking around and he's like and he's like that nagging girl that was like nagging you the whole way that's human reasoning Mm -hmm. And it's going to be nagging you, saying, well, you know, things don't look any different. We're still here. We don't have any financial breakthrough to get to the dream. And the, and he's like, don't listen to that. Mm -hmm. Don't listen to that. And he's like, now you're going to start. I mean, it was a whole big, long prophetic word, really. And the Lord was like, you're going to start seeing this. And this is going to start happening. And this is going to happen. And you're going you're gonna to kind of look and see. You know, you went through the door. You're just going to look and see and behold the amazement. Trust me, I've been beholding the amazement since then. It's been true. Either this stuff's going to happen or it's not. Mm -hmm. Either it's prophetic or it's now. I tell you what, it's now because mm -hmm. I am just seeing all these things happen. I'm just, I'm just like, whoa, this is amazing, you know. Um, the manifest presence of the Lord hit me like it hasn't in this entire wilderness journey. And like, it was funny because that one morning was that was that this morning or yesterday morning? I got the song. But anyway, I got this song. I haven't done a song in forever. Forever. Because I've written like, I mean, I've written like well over 100 songs. I've written a lot of songs. And um, I'm just like, well, I haven't done that in a long time. And and there was just a sense of that dream. There's an at, there's a, a layer, a dimension of that dream I'm literally experiencing. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And even this morning, I know what this is the, the whole crossing over into this scene, uh, Tuesday morning. The Lord was like, I was like, Lord, I'm watching this, this certain show right now, but I'm just like, it's just not hitting me, bro. And literally, the Lord was bringing this conversation up, and He was just, and He would remind, He reminded me of when I started doing my writing and writing my stories back in 2014, mm -hmm. when I really, when I like. I, I left work to come home and then she went to work. There was like a shift and a transition. The Lord, that's a whole story that the Lord worked out and fulfilled. That book's over. Uh, <laughs> um, and he was like, he told me, write the story that you want to write. But I went through this process of trying to write how the industry wants things written. And I was just trying to, I was just going, I had to go through some stuff you just got to go through. And now, and it's like th this morning, Mm -hmm. It was this morning. The Lord was like, now do you see why I told you to write the story you want to write? Why? Because I was like, well, the Avengers is over, you know, and the, 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 the MCU is kind of going through a kind of an identity crisis right now. And I'm just like, and I'm like, this is like, and it, it started this conversation mm -hmm. where I'm just like, there's nothing out there that's really satisfying me. There's one particular show right now that I'm really loving. Um, 
But the reason I love it is because it's the story and it's being told by these particular brothers <clears throat> and they're just telling the story. Mm -hmm. It has nothing to do with politics and all the stuff that's going on in, in the political arena and the culture. They're just like, here's a cool story. I want to tell this cool story. Mm -hmm. And it's actually cool and people love it. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, yeah, I know you guys are like, well, what's the show, Devin? I'm not going to tell you. You have to get on my Facebook page. Maybe you'll find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, <laughs> but um, but the, but I'm just like, I'm like, even though with all this out there, I'm just like these shows. I'm like, I'm like, Lord, I want to write things. I want to produce things. I want to have things out there that are just like they leave a lasting impact. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a story and it may be sci-fi and fantasy or whatever, but it leaves this lasting impact that maybe inspires or sends people on a journey. And so all this stuff is happening and I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is just like the dream. Mm -hmm. There's all these little areas that people were practicing their arts and their and their craft. You know? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow. And, I'm just, well, and that was part of the dream too is you it, it really felt like a place where it was like for the people in the arts right that's true I forgot to say that mm -hmm. that's literally what it was it was mm -hmm. an art school the entire thing mm -hmm. was about arts mm -hmm. and entertainment and how to do it and how to, to perfect your craft and how to and mm -hmm. I'm just like this is amazing mm -hmm. and it's like Lord are you about to send us into a time where that's what we're getting ready to do mm -hmm. and I'm like ooh, that that's 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 a different kind of kingly training I didn't imagine that being the kingly training <laughs> but you know that's that's still in the cooker, you know? yeah. but, but yeah, I mean, I don't know where yeah, I was, so, but go ahead and take uh, over. <laughs> <laughs> well, also another thing that came out this week that I forgot to say was, um, I'm pretty sure it was May 31st as well, was there was the decree the manifestation has the victory of the manifestation has gone forth mm. and that that was something that came out as well in this last week and um and i, I just think it's like oh my word because we've been seeing triple fours like you would not believe yeah i mean we're talking a thunderstorm of yeah. triple fours without the exposure moments and it's just like what's going on here yeah like the Lord's like, it's gonna mean something different on the other side of the equal sign. It's mm -hmm. gonna mean something different in manifestation than what it meant in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. It can't apply, it's not gonna have the same application. And I'm like, wow, you're even gonna be doing different definitions for prophetic numbers now? And I felt like the Lord was like, yeah, because they're gonna be different. And they're gonna be the same, but it, you're gonna see, because it's like Psalm 44 verse four, God command victories, it's like, okay, Yes, let's do that. Let's do the victory. Well, that's this side of the equal sign. But on this side of the equal sign, you have the enemy that needs to be overcome. Mm -hmm. The thing that, well, what do you need victory over? Let's talk about that. Let's discuss that. That's the exposure part. Yep. That's the wilderness part. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, is that the, that's the enemy? That's the thing you needed? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's have victory over that. Here, now you're going to see the manifestation of that victory. Yeah, and you're going to learn how to walk in that victory. Man, we are about to see some major victory because we have had some five years of major exposure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would say triple four, it was the triple four and the triple two that actually introduced me to prophetic numbers. I was like, God, what are you doing? Why do I keep seeing numbers? Why? I just really feel like this is being highlighted. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on here? It was a triple two, a triple four and a 927. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Every time we talk to our friend, a friend of ours, we always end up talking to her at like, so for some reason at nine, we're always on at 927. Yeah, and I'm just funny. like, <laughs> what, what is going on? And so the, our whole journey in the wilderness has been marked by exposure, 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 exposure. Well, let's just say that God's like, every time you expose something, it's like you're opening up this hole in the ground and I'm gonna plant a seed in it. Yeah. How much exposure you want? A ton. Okay, well, every time you open that hole, it's going to be like ripping flesh. And it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. You sure you want to uh, have a lot of exposure? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, Lord, you're in charge. You just do it. Just do it. You know, like those, 
like those waxing things, like those waxing videos. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs> just do it, Lord. Just, just expose us, strip us, break us down, afflict us, do whatever you got to do because we are in it for the short-term loss, long-term gain. Yeah. You know, if we got to go through what well, we're going to go through so we can get to, mm -hmm. but you're still going to go through. And I felt like the, 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 the dream is like represents where we were coming from mm -hmm. and the issues and the difficulties that we were facing, the lack of opportunity and all that. And the Lord's like, here, let's get on this elevator. And it's just like, here, let's go on this really long, crazy, weird journey where you feel like, are we even in the right place? Are we even doing the right thing? What is going on are here? Are we going up? Are, are we, we going are we, down? Exactly. <laughs> like, what are we doing in life? Or I feel like we're going and, down in life. Like, like, what? Super confined. Yeah. And, and super confined space. You know, it's like we can't go anywhere. We don't have a vehicle. We don't have jobs. We're depending on other people for money. Is that even right? You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's like what is it? It's like God will lead. What is it? Isaiah uh, 42, 16. He will lead the blind in a way that they know not. He will mm -hmm. take them in paths that they have not known. Check, check, and check right here. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's just like, wow, and that's what that elevator, that elevator literally represents our entire wilderness journey. Yeah. You know? And it was, it was, it was a, it was a humble elevator. It wasn't pristine floors. It wasn't nice walls. It wasn't even spacious. I mean, I felt like maybe that another person could have fit in there with me, but it would have been awkwardly close. You know what I mean? And it's just like, and of course me, I just kind of represent my whole family, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, so technically we were all there in spirit, but it was just, you know, God was just using me as like the, the headpiece, you know? And uh, it was just, it was so much, there was nothing brand new there. There was nothing nice there. There was nothing in that elevator that said, and it's just like, that's the humility. Mm -hmm. It's humility that causes you to rise. Mm -hmm. And you just look at that. It's, it's 1028 right now. Yeah, look, another late night video. But I'm literally just getting ready to talk about the 28 I saw on the 1028. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was just like when I saw that 28, it was just like, just trust the Lord. He's leading you to a good place. Just trust the Lord. It'll be led by the Spirit. And I was just like, well, this is where I'm at right now. I really have a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it's almost like our life. It's like, well, this is the life we have right now. We don't really have a choice. Choice. And we're glad to be here. You know, we're glad yeah. to be in the center of God's will, doing what he wants us to do, even though it looks crazy and, and it's humbling, you know, but it's just like to be let out and it's okay, we're getting ready to, we're in this transition time. We're doing this last lap thing. And we, even if we, after we cross the finish line, it's like, all right, cool. What do we do now? You know? mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, and you want to know something amazing, shout out to Kay Nash once again. That girl's amazing. She she really is serious, serious about the Lord. She ain't playing no games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, she is no joke, like very for real for the Lord. You know, you don't get very many people like that. A lot of people sell out, you know, but Kay Nash is not one of those people. Mm -hmm. And almost every day. In the month of May. Almost every day. It was just like everything that she was saying was just like hitting mm -hmm. what we were going through on that particular day. Yeah. Even the finishing thing, remember? Yeah, and I was just crazy. like, I was like, amazing. So it's like God will bring cheerleaders to your game, to, 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 your, to your run, to hand you the Gatorade and the water mm -hmm. that you need and all that. And of course, then you can go and be that to other people as well. You know, you're, you're running... And someone's watching you, but then there's another aspect of your life where you're watching someone else run and you're handing them the Gatorade. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's kind of all working that way. It's it's it, it's the, the divine economy I like to call it, which is more than just money. You know, it's 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 the way the Holy Spirit works through different people to confirm and encourage and support what he's saying and what he's doing in the body of Christ, you know? Yeah. And so super cool. I could keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that really kind of covers 
particularly this last week with a little overflow us, with a little overflow yeah. and um and you know that's just kind of where we're at where god is saying like by his spirit it's like yeah. you know we've gone through this door yeah. where now god is speaking to you really like he's it's really almost like what you experienced was like God's like, I'm showing you mm -hmm. what I'm taking you into. I'm showing you where I am going to And I'm still you. kind of in a racy mode as I'm trying to run from the enemy. You yeah, know? <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be showing you, like, the opportunities because that was one of yeah. the things that really stood out to me when um, you had shared the dream was just that when you came into this new place that was just like, whoa, this is Massive amazing. It was just like, you. Yeah. there was hope and there was opportunity and and it was mm -hmm. just like that sense of like i can do something like i have like i can this, learn this can actually work this can actually i can be happen. something here i can develop yeah and the lord is can i say something yeah. else on that because i'm probably gonna attach to what you're saying and that's like um one thing i did want to say is like i knew even though the dream ended i knew in the dream i was like after that whole laughing scene with the with the with the actors and the teenagers, I just knew, I was like, man, I belong here. Mm -hmm. There was just a sense of belonging that I had that I had just mm -hmm. hadn't had in so long because, you know, when you're in the inner city type school, you're always looking over your shoulder. You're always watching your back. You're always on guard. You're, there's always a fear security camera in your head. There's a Terminator in your head that's just constantly watching to see if it, mm -hmm. you know, but there it was like, I just didn't have that. Mm -hmm. I had peace on every side and I was just like, but I knew even though it wasn't in the dream, uh, I didn't do this in the dream, but I knew in the dream, the next step I was taking, I was like, I'm going to the office, I'm registering, I'm coming to this school. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which I think is really cool too, because, you know, of course it, it's going to match, but it's like, it lines up with so many other pictures that God has given us as far as just like where he's bringing us and what he's going to be doing within us mm -hmm. you know and just being in a place where you have hope and you have opportunity and you have just like almost that sense of to be able to relax to be able to just mm -hmm. let go of the wilderness really yeah. um you know when you're in a wilderness life <laughs> where God puts you in the wilderness and even if you were literally in the wilderness you're going to live a certain way you have to survive it's you surviving. have to yeah. you have to figure things out you have you know like there's certain yeah. things that you do or there's you know there's things that you go without there's all of those that's a part of that wilderness time mm -hmm. but then it's like now you're going to be coming into something completely different and um oh and that was the one thing this um Brandon, i wish i could remember my thing i was something i was going to say I, I need an oh moment right now <laughs> i was like wait there was something i was going to say oh well that's, that's why there was that little editing moment no there. but what was really cool <laughs> is um brandon lake came oh, out with yeah fear is not my future yeah um that song and <laughs> And I loved it because it, in the song, he says, like, hello, joy, hello, love, hello, peace, mm -hmm. hello, strength, and hello, hope, and, and hello, hope. And it's a new horizon. But I had forgotten uh, that that's what the Lord had been speaking over what we're going into mm -hmm. because we have been in a season with the wilderness time of saying goodbye mm -hmm. we have said goodbye to so many different things and and we talked about it that way. with um mm -hmm. with our kids we're just like going over it um one of our god times about all the things that god has asked us to lay down to set aside to say goodbye to um, and how it really has just been a season, mm -hmm. um, a long season. This isn't just a few months. We've been doing it now, it's five years. Um, well, four and a half, like we're in our fifth year of just um, where God's just been like 
Say goodbye. Say goodbye. No, I mean, it's well, been actually, like no, it has five been. Years. It's been five. I was thinking since <laughs> we arrived in Nashville, but it started in, in 2017. 2017. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so over it was. Over five years. Yeah. Um, it's been over <laughs> five years. We're at almost five and, and a half. And the goodbye thing actually started in December of 2016. It did. Late um, December 2016. Because the Lord was like, you need to say goodbye this is to the time your, to say goodbye. You know, to so much at that time. And and it just continued. For a um, couple months, yeah. And But then just con it kept continuing where God's mm -hmm. like, all right, say goodbye to this, say goodbye to that, say goodbye to this. And, and, but so when I heard that song where he was singing hello, it just hit my, my heart where it was just like, oh, that's right, we're going to be saying hello. We're going to be, you know, it's going to be a time again where you're going to see the reversing of things. Mm -hmm. Where God's like, you're going to say hello to peace and joy and strength. And you're going to be saying um, hello again to actually many of the things that the Lord has had us put down. Mm -hmm. Which is where kind of just what... God's brought you through this week as far as like the writing and um, even the songs. Like those are things God's wow. like, you're going to be saying hello to those again. Wow. Okay. Well, that's uh, pretty cool. <laughs> like, cause that's literally, I just, I'm just getting hit. Like that's actually what's been going on. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh, well, hello. You know what I mean? Song? What? Okay. Well, hello. Yeah. You know? And it's like, oh, we're talking. Me and the Lord. It's like, it's like he's my buddy, and he is. And we're just sitting there. And we're we're just talking shop about writing and stories and what. And I was like, oh, well, hello. Yeah. Where Where'd you come from? You're You're here now. You know. Yeah. <laughs> what else am I gonna say hello to? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we will find out, but um. But yeah, so I just, that was something that came out yeah. this uh, week as well, that it was just, we actually spent a, a couple of God times kind of just marinating and talking about this. We have said goodbye to um, a lot. Yes. We have said goodbye to practically everything. I mean, bare bones. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like Dave and Ramsey. Dave and Ramsey? It's like a it's like a law firm. <laughs> Dave and Ramsey. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking like Dave Ramsey beans and rice for a couple years while you pay off your debt type of stuff. But that's the short term gain or short term loss, long term gain. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what you gotta do. You gotta go through that. You gotta go through that short term intense sacrifice. And you think sh three years? It took three years to pay off the debt. That's that's short term. It is short term when you consider those three years go by like that. If you're just spending, 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 mm -hmm. doing what you want, doing what you want, how you want is you know you go through three Christmases like that. Yeah. And you, you're in major debt because of Christmas. I'm like, no, thank you. Yeah. You know, and it's like, might as well go through a, mm -hmm. might as well follow the Lord into the, into the barren place he wants you to be in because he's like, it is here in this place that I'm going to make you the most fruitful. Mm -hmm. You know? Well, and that's the thing. Like, God's like. Here at Dave and Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've like saying goodbye to it's more than just, you know, like saying goodbye. Like the Lord literally told us, you know, like lay down the writing, you know, that that kind of thing. You know, saying goodbye to working. It's like, okay, in in that setting, like say goodbye to that, say mm -hmm. goodbye to you know, items just, and things like that. Yeah. But but it's really also has been about the that exposure and saying goodbye to mindsets and ways that you think and yeah. how you view things and and your My like word. ideologies of like well I grew up in in this particular and this is how we do this yeah and, and it's like well you need even, to say goodbye to that a, even really saying and it really started before this journey but for us really saying goodbye to the traditions of of man and and holidays and certain yep. things like that where guys like we need to say goodbye to this even yeah. um you know even for uh 
you know, just allowing God to do what he wants to do with every day. And, and so a lot of times you have to, you're going to have to say goodbye to yourself. And that's really what this whole journey has been about yeah. is like, say, lay down and say goodbye to yourself and all of that. Your own desires and your own agenda. But and by, by doing that, God's like, now you can say hello to resurrection life. And you can way. say hello yeah. to what I'm going to, now I'm, yeah. I'm going to start filling you up. And you're going to be able to say hello to my way of how I'm going to structure your life yeah. and what I have for you. So yeah. it was just like, it's exciting to, you know, it'll be exciting to just see how God. I think we're going to be saying hello in. for the next, well, the yeah, next it's, five years. It's going to be the whole time. <laughs> yeah. It really is because this whole time has been, you know, of our wilderness had been marked by goodbyes. But you know, we're going to be saying hello for the whole time of the, the yeah. kingly training time. So we hope you guys liked this video. And yeah. it was another, another short, you know, brief video from the Lavors. <laughs> um, <laughs> we really do hope you uh, got something from the dream, from the story, how things were connecting, mm -hmm. what God was doing there. And we just pray that God would use whatever aspect he's using, you know, and however long you watch the video, um, that to minister into your own life mm -hmm. and encourage you and get you to the finish line or whatever you know yeah just, it would just be an encouraging tool for your relationship with the lord you know mm -hmm. yeah i agree yeah and um yeah i just want to pray so um mm -hmm. so father i just uh we just come to you we thank you for mm -hmm. um just the journey that you've taken us on, but Lord, I thank you for the journey that you've taken so many of your people on. Lord, it has been long. It has been very hard. It's been um, a time of saying goodbye for so many people. And um, and Lord, I just pray that uh, you would come, you would bring your comfort, you would bring strength, you would bring renewing, and you would uh, just bring a lifting up and, um, and an encouragement that you're not going to be we're not going to be in a time of goodbye anymore it's going to mm. be a time of hello and you're going to start bringing Come in on. so many good things from mm -hmm. heaven for us to say hello to yeah and um for us to receive and say yes to by your spirit and you are going to just change we're going to look at our lives and see how in your goodness you have changed the landscape of our own hearts and lives and and see the joy and the peace and just the satisfaction that comes from a life that is lived with you, walking with you, and um, dying to ourselves. And um, and so we just uh, thank you and praise you for what you're doing. Thank you for where you are sending us, where you, we are going. And I pray right now, Lord, for anyone who is just really struggling, Father, that you would come in and you would just inject um, a spirit of hope upon their hearts, mm -hmm. Lord, that you would fill them with just great hope for the future that you have, your future that is for their good and not for evil, um, and yeah. that um, there would just be a strengthening within the body of Christ um, to continue to believe, continue to have faith that we will receive, that we will see your goodness, mm -hmm. um, Lord, and that you are faithful to your word. Yeah. You will finish what you have started and you mm -hmm. will not bring to the moment of birth and not have it come forth. And yes. so we just, um, we just thank you for your faithfulness and your goodness to our hearts and our lives. And we just, um, I do just pray, Father, for your strength, for your spirit to continue to lift up your people, to carry us forward. We pray for just more revelation from your heart over our lives and that you would continue to just speak in signs, wonders, miracles, dreams, and visions, Father, and that you would, um, your word would go forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Love the prayers. <laughs>
anyway. Yeah, so I think that's all that we have for you guys. We pray that you are blessed. And until next time, we will see you later. Yep, bye-bye, guys. Bye. -bye,